Good afternoon, everybody. Let's talk about choosing the right toothpaste for you. When you go to the store, you go down the aisle and you must get very overwhelmed. Even I get overwhelmed and I'm a dental professional. What toothpaste should you choose depending on your teeth, your mouth? So a simple rule of thumb, anytime I see my patients is I do ask them some very simple questions. I say, do any of your teeth hurt? Are there any discomfort? Um, are there any cold sensitive teeth anywhere, hot or cold sensitive teeth? And then I kind of start there. So for example, if I have a patient who's not uncomfortable, there's no discomfort with any of their teeth, they're not cold sensitive, then that's a great sign. They do not need a toothpaste that is geared towards teeth that are cold sensitive because most people do have cold sensitive teeth. No tooth likes the cold, but if you find you're avoiding certain foods, certain um, beverages because it's too cold, well, that's not necessarily normal either. So there are toothpaste out there that can help you. There are certain types that are like a sensitive type of toothpaste. I don't like to name any companies. I'm not being sponsored, but this is just my own video. So why not, right? So Sensodyne toothpaste is the best over-the-counter toothpaste out there for cold sensitive teeth. Now you want to get the original Sensodyne or, th or the Sensodyne that is called Rapid Relief. I can leave the link for you guys down below. There's a bunch of different Sensodynes, but if Sensodyne adds any other things to it, like if it says Sensodyne plus whitening, you do not want that one because that's going to be more coarse for your teeth and is more for whitening, not for cold sensitivity. It's marketing, you guys. They want to appeal to everybody. But if cold sensitivity is your problem, you want a Sensodyne toothpaste. I do prefer Sensodyne Rapid Relief. Again, you guys, I'll leave the link for you down below. But let's say you don't have any cold sensitive teeth, but I look inside your mouth and you have cavities or, or you have watch areas where they're not cavities yet, but I can tell they could become a cavity because when I check with my instruments, it's a little bit sticky there. So there are toothpaste for cavity prone people. Toothpaste where they seem to get a cavity or two every time they go to see their dental hygienist. So over the counter, the basics of that is you want a toothpaste with sodium um, fluoride. There's different types, but you, but you want the one that says sodium fluoride. What that does is that will actually help to make the enamel stronger and help to kind of heal up those areas that have either a tiny cavity or a cavity or a watch area. They're not perfect. So if you have a big cavity, it's not going to make the big cavity smaller. But if you have a small cavity, it could help enough where that cavity never gets bigger. So that is something to look for. If you're very cavity prone, then I will also suggest a mouthwash as well. So use a toothpaste and a mouthwash with sodium fluoride. They can be purchased over the counter, but there's also other toothpaste that you can only get from your dental professional that has more of all of that in there, which could be better for you. If you try the toothpaste mouthwash and you're still getting cavities, then you need something that we would actually give you at the dental office that you can only purchase at the dental office because there's more stuff in there basically that you can't purchase over the, ca the counter because it could be harmful, I guess. We have to be so careful these days. But what if you have another problem? What if cavities are not your problem? Your teeth aren't cold sensitive, but every time you see your dental hygienist, we tell you, you have gingivitis, you have periodontal disease, the gums are bleeding everywhere, it doesn't look good. There's actually different toothpaste for that. So remember how in the previous point, I talked about sodium fluoride. For the gums, there's actually a different type of ingredient that I want you guys to look for. And that is called stannous, stannous fluoride. I know you're probably confused, but that actually helps to get underneath the gums a little bit when you're using the toothbrush to really help to heal up the gums. So if you have um, uh, gingivitis, periodontal disease, the gums are just looking horrible. That toothpaste will help more than any of the other ones. So this is kind of a recap, but if you guys have any questions or need to know specific for you, please talk to your dental professional and they will help you because they will look inside your mouth and know exactly what you need. If you have cold sensitive teeth, 
you have cavities and you have problems inside the mouth, there are toothpaste for all of that too. But when in doubt, you guys, the very best thing you can do is brush twice a day, use a mouthwash and use a water pick. I love water picks to clean in between the teeth. People like it so much more than using the string and trying to get in there. So I can leave the link for you guys for that too down below. Comment if you have any questions. Thank you guys for watching. Like the video if you don't mind. That does help me in my channel. Thank you guys. Have a great day.